I'm gonna do is I'm gonna unplug the saw. I'm gonna turn the switch off. What I'll do? My throw plate out here. I'll line the saw up to the top. Once that's up to the top, I'm gonna grab my wrenches off of the side that are stored on board the tool. I'll pull these off. And I've got two wrenches here. This is a blade wrench. This is what they call the activation cartridge wrench. I'll take this activation cartridge wrench. I'll loosen the retainer ring. And I'll pull this retainer out. Pop my driving knife out of the way. I'll pull this out. And what I've got is an activation cartridge here. Okay. This one is the one that just shot. What I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this around. See that real quick? There you go. Okay. Yeah. I'll pop this back in. Plug that in, and then I'm going to take this and spin it back into place. This is called the retainer plug. Okay, that's only one eye. What's that? Only connects in one direction. Yep, only connects in one direction. I'm going to tighten that down. Okay, now that's into place. Now what I'm going to do is what we didn't want to have happen is once it goes down for it to pop back up. So there's actually a ratchet lock in place here. So that's not going to going to go down and bounce back up. What I'm going to do is pull that retention ratchet back and then I'm going to pop it back up into place. Once that's popped back up into place, I'll take the riving knife, I'll bring the riving knife back up, I'll put the throw plate into place, I'll put my kickback balls on, my guard, put my wrenches away, and I'm ready to get back to work. Start it back up, let's see it. Alrighty, so we'll take this and we'll plug it back in. Plugs back in, it's going to run a diagnostic and give me a green light. Once I've got a green light, what I'll do is I'll start this back up. So we go back to work. 